Steve here from Showrooms Online and we're at Bramshaw Meadows by St Modwin Homes and we're here to see this house type, the beautiful Garnet. Four bedrooms, you can see how beautiful it is. We've got that beautiful balcony up there with that stone frontage on the front there and this crisp white render and those dark graphite windows. Without further ado, let's go and take a look. Hello Emma. Hello. Welcome to the Garnet by St Modwin Homes yes. and we're at Bramshaw Meadows in so Staffordshire um, which is just outside Utoxeter, right on the country and this is the beautiful four bedroomed Garnet house type. Mm. Um, nice entrance hall, beautiful. very very light. It is a beautiful looking house. Yeah Stunning. from the outside, yeah, so is. contemporary yes. but that's what you get with St Modwin. And we are reversed to plan. Yeah. Oh, yeah I think right. from what I can see. Right. Where to start? I think if we start on this side, yes, this side, this is the family room yeah. on the plan. So this is 3 metres 23 by 6 metres 37. Oh, look at that bookcase. Yeah, that's that's quite, nice. yeah, that's nice. So look at that big bay. Look at that yes. bay window. That is large. So next door was a four bed, wasn't it? Yeah. This is a bigger four yeah. bed. Yeah. Yes. Just look so, at it. Actually, it's almost. I don't know. I'm trying to. It's almost got a sixties kind of. It's retro. Yeah, it's Modern nice. Retro, yeah. And that and that that. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I love that. Yes. Oh. Um. Other uses for this room then. Well, it's, it would make a great bedroom. It certainly would. Um, I suppose uh, it could be a separate dining room. Yeah, it could be. It a could be a playroom, a music room, a study, a snug. Do you know? Many. You've uses. just got a room just here. Somewhere to send the teenagers to if they're getting on your nerves. Yeah, it is. Or, or yeah, or a cinema room. Mm -hmm. That'd be all right, wouldn't it? Yes. But just look. Take a look at the units. <laughs> you never quite will you know what you're going to get when you walk in a showroom, oh, that's pretty pretty good. Right, so, across the hallway then, into the living room, dimensions, 3 metres 23 in width, 6 metres 37 in length, so it goes from the front to the, to the rear of the house. That theme it's continues, the doesn't it? How cool is that? Well, it's contemporary though. Even yeah. though it's, some of the furniture has a retro style, it's still very But look at that there. Do you know what that reminds me of? Do you know one of them spiky clocks you used to get? Yeah. Mm. Well, I think that's... Yeah, that's I've got, that, I bet there's one of those in the kitchen. Mind the table behind oh, you, yeah, Steve. Okay. You reverse it. I do you need reverse a, beeper a lot. on, don't you? Right. Lovely. So you've got French doors here at the bottom, bottom end of the lounge. I call it the bottom. I mean, it could be the top. Either way, it's at this end. I mean, from here. You could just say the rear view. of the property. Could, yes, that's what I mean. Look at the countryside. Yeah. That is a proper countryside. Yeah, this view. particular plot's got some, silver some good birches. views Look from at front and yeah, back. Yeah, lovely hill of silver birches over there. Yeah. So, this is your main living area then. Then we've got a door here this end of the living room which takes you into the kitchen but you can also get there from the uh, yeah. hallway as well we'll go back out that way i think so you've got a dining area and then this beautiful kitchen so more french doors yeah. there so you've actually got two sets they're actually though they're not they're quite wide doors as well aren't yeah. they they're really good size yeah you just imagine in the summer when you've yeah. got both sets open and the sun's shining and it's warm again. I've even forgotten what it's like to have warm weather. It was warm we yesterday. got a glimpse of it yesterday, but it didn't last long, yeah. did it? Right, kitchen dining. 5 metres 59 by 3 metres 41. Obviously, I'll put the conversions in the description box if you work in feet. Right, so let's take a look at this beautiful kitchen then. Lovely handles. integrated dishwasher. Now Steve, there's a sign there, very kindly, saying that obviously because this is a show home, 
some of the things you might see are upgrades. So you need to speak to the sales consultant. They'll tell you what's included or what you can upgrade to. It's all your own choice, isn't it? This has an absolutely beautiful work surface. So you've got a one and a half bowl sink. Lots of cupboard space. Big, big drawers. Love these. And there is a, a little leaf leaflet there saying, you know, you can upgrade. So, super pan drawers. Very, very nice. Again, another of these six burner hobs. I mean, I think that's fantastic. I'd love one of these. Not that I do a lot of cooking, but I think that would just be fabulous. Yeah, so AG appliances. Yeah, great, uh, great splash back there. And the extractor. So we've got a bank of units on this side, which has got the oven and your grill all integrated. Covered on that side. Fridge and freezer there. Ooh. There we go. And we've got a utility. I suppose it is a utility room, isn't it? Yeah. It hasn't got a door, but it's and there's it's contained. So your access to the rear garden is through there. It's an alcove. Yeah. It, yeah. A utility alcove. I suppose you could have a door on there if you wanted. Yeah. Couldn't you? Yeah. So what have we got in here then? You've got a window. You've got the RCD box, little radiator. There's your boiler, tucked away. So you've got space for an appliance, and there's another appliance in there. So you could, I think that's a washer dryer. Washing machine and tumble dryer. But you could have separate ones if you really yeah. wanted. And you could, even here, you know, if it, your tumble dryer had a pipe, you could take it through the wall. Yeah. Got a sink, which is always fabulous. And then you've got some more cupboards above. Plenty of storage space in this. And this beautiful work surface that's in the kitchen is yeah. continued Let me in here. Just show a little bit of that. It's granite, isn't it? Would you yeah. say? Yes. Yeah. I like the utility space. I think it takes away, takes those appliances out of the main kitchen. Yeah. You've got somewhere to put your air and your laundry basket and whatever out there, so it's it's not in your way in here. No, yeah. Right, so back into the hallway. We've got a door. This is your downstairs cloakroom. That's actually quite big, isn't it? Really, and the ceilings are quite high. You can see that from here. Yeah, it's, um, a, good, it's a good size. Yeah, um, it's internal, so there's no window, but it's still. It's very well lit. I mean, you've maybe got room for a laundry basket. Yeah, or a little unit or shoe something. Shoe rack or something in there if you want A little radiator in there as well. Yeah. Oops, let me just turn around. There we go. We've got an understairs cupboard. There we go. Sorry. That's great, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So we're back into the hallway and we will take a look upstairs. Now I'm just, as we're just standing at the bottom of the stairs, yeah. You can see, oh. let me just look at the look at the volume of that ceiling up there. Now there's a lot of light coming up for there, so I think a little surprise is in, yes, in order I up there. So we will walk up the stairs. You can see the light and take a look at that. Now that is the garnet feature window. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now you you come to me with a housing developer, a mainstream housing developer that does that sort of thing on a family house. Isn't that fantastic? Now on the plan, this little area is listed as a study area. Yeah, it's perfectly, you've got the sockets there, there's a phone socket as well. Imagine having your desk here. Oh God, yeah. Your chair, you've got your laptop or whatever, looking out at that while you do your work. Yeah, but imagine the road sweeper isn't there and we're looking outside. Yeah. Obviously ignore the road sweeper. And you're looking Please outside do. and you're just standing <laughs> there. You just stand there and look over them fields, wouldn't you, yeah. and just think. I mean, another thing that might be nice is if you have a couple of chairs here, you could sit and have your cup of coffee. It's amazing, it's cavernous, isn't it? Yeah. Let's just come back again and have a little look. I think it's beautiful. Beautiful artwork there as well. I like that very much. It just goes right up into the pitch of that roof. It's a big window. Extraordinary. Yeah. 
Right. Bedroom. Bedroom three. Here at the front. So you're over the, the front of the lounge here. The bedroom three is three meters twenty-eight by three meters twenty-one. It's almost a square. So much light, natural light coming in, isn't there? What a lovely room. Yeah. So they've got a chest of drawers there. A chest of drawers behind the door. Well, you've got space there for you could you could have you you could just have a, a wardrobe. wardrobe, or you could have a chest of drawers chest there of and a wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. I mean that's a double bed. It's but first... I would say you could fit a, a, a bigger bed in here. It's a good size double bedroom. And there's a plug there, which means you possibly could turn the bed round as well. Yeah. Oh, mm. I see what you mean. What you mean, have the bed facing way, the window? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it gives you options. But that's a lot of thought gone into yeah, this. where you can position the bed. There just seems to be a lot of thought gone into mm. this and thinking, actually, what do people want? Yeah. I'll just take you one last pan into that room for you guys. There you go. It's almost cavernous, isn't it? You can, you can hear is. the echo. Yeah. Bedroom one. So this is your master bedroom. Yeah. You're actually over the study here. Yeah. Dimensions three meters fifty one by three meters fifty one. So you've got a a small little balcony here. It isn't open, but you can see it's only small. Yeah. But it's just nice, just a diff different little little extra on this. And this is why I think this this version of the garnet is very different to the ones we've got at the one we've got online at the moment but it just shows how With they're the changing theming. yeah yes what beautiful looking house though it really is what a master bedroom as well it's beautiful isn't it so plenty of room for the bed could you have the bed on this side uh, 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 you, you could you could at a push yeah but you could definitely put a much bigger bed yeah. On this side, you've got lots of room either side. L the look at the look at the curtains, the floor to ceiling curtains. They're so chic, aren't they? I Sheaky, chic, yes. Chic. Put them tidy. Yeah. Right, I noticed behind the door, you've got a dressing room, walk-in wardrobe. Lovely. It's simple, aren't they? Really, yeah. they are just literally a shelf and a rail. But keep it simple. I think they make yeah. such a difference. And it's got an ensuite as well. Brilliant. So what we've got in the ensuite so we've got the, 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 the usual the usual sanitary wear as you find and a really good shower, really good size shower there as well. Um and the shower head there which comes straight off the boiler I would imagine. But nice. Well, got window. Yes, got his window and the these really nice white tile rail tile rails which we've seen um in St Madwin before. Very good. Very good indeed. I think it's a very nice bedroom. Yeah. Like There's a hat there and normally Oh normally I would try it on. Yeah. Shall I? Is it is it a lady's hat? Ooh. Does it suit me? Mm, let the viewers be the judge of that. I like it. Do you? I do. Hmm. Okay. It's nice. Let's Very summary, I'll pop it yeah, back. Flip, let's go to the bridge club later. I did notice the handbags actually in the wardrobe. No. I should have tried out one of those. Right. We have bedroom four then. Just while I uh, get my bearings again. So bedroom four actually has the loft access. So this, obviously the huge pitch on that, of that roof is taken up mostly by that, but this side has actually got loft space. In terms of position in the house, you are above the kitchen yeah. here, the kitchen end of that room. So, bedroom four, three meters twenty. Oh, sorry, two meters sixty-seven by three meters eighteen. But again, plenty of room for additional furniture. You yeah. could fit a wardrobe. You could fit chest of drawers in here. And obviously, have the bed on the other room as well. So it's almost like isn't it all the, the bed rooms. On the other yeah, you're on the other wall. Yes, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, you could. Yeah. You could have the bed there. Yeah. yeah. Or here, even. You've got a lot of options yeah. in this room. Yeah. So we've got the bathroom here, just here. So we've got. A, whew, you are treated well here. We have got a, a double shower cubicle here, yeah, that's spacious, which is really really good. Let me open the blinds. Sorry. Oh, there we go. We can actually see what's going on. There yeah. we go. There you go. So there we go. Sink, 
toilet. But you've actually got a bath with a um, shower, a hair washing, yeah, attachment there as yeah. well. Yeah, really good, really good, and a little shelf at the end there, just a, just a little detail there. That's very nice, isn't it? And obviously, as previously stated, the amazing white towel rail. And you know, I have to say, because we have a towel rail, don't we? I've never had one before. We've had one for about two years, and it's made a huge difference to our bathroom, hasn't it? Yeah. I wouldn't be without one now, actually. I think they're fabulous. Well, we've got in here, we've got the boiler. Oh, and a stool. Um, so, the, yes, this is your cylinder then, yep. in a cupboard on the yep. landing. Okay, right. moving on. Another decent sized room here. So, this is bedroom two. Yes. So, we're at. We're at the back of the lounge, aren't we? Yeah. Above the lounge here, yeah? Another substantial size bedroom. Right, three metres 28 by just over the three metres. It's got a built-in wardrobe then, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. There you go. I like the built-in wardrobe ideas, you know. Well, I think it saves you having to think about additional yeah. furniture or getting wardrobes fitted. It's already there. Yeah. You've got plenty of room for additional furniture. You could have a bigger bed. Could even have the bed here. So in this, in this room, room, you've also got another loft access, which is to the oh, other yeah. side of the pitch. So yeah. plenty of roof storage. But you've got a nice view from the uh, yeah. from the rear. Do you know? I think we need to finish off at the front of this beautiful house. Mm. Just give the viewers another look at that beautiful window. Mm. It's not something we see very often, is it? No. It's absolutely gorgeous. No. Yeah. Well, there you go. Impressive. The Garnet. Garnet. A four bedroomed house at Bramshill Meadows, in, which is in Bramshill, on right on the outskirts of Utoxeter. Yeah. Um, beautiful house, unmistakably, yeah. St Modwin. Um, you can just see a little sneak there of the elevation there. Look at that stonework on the, the stonework on there. A lovely detail. Yeah. Anyway, all of the amazing detail will be in the description box down below, along with dimensions etc uh, and some information about the development there'll also be a link back to St Modwin's website so you can get in touch with this development about availability um, and prices etc so you can ask them yeah. directly that way you, you, you're insured yeah. of getting the most up-to-date information if you want to see any more of our St Modwin reviews that we've done then take a look on our website www.showhomesonline.com or go to the St Modwin Homes website um, and you'll be able to see all the developments and they're a rapidly expanding house builder um, and again this is a portfolio house type so this is available on a lot of developments I'm not sure whether this particular because um, this is a variation of the design would be available on all developments but it's worth just checking but it's been an absolute joy to have a look at as it well. is yeah but uh, we will catch you soon on our next video thanks for watching thanks for watching bye <laughs>